Welcome to the first lecture of 3D modeling and visualization. So in this lecture we will go through the user interface of Maya and we'll create some basic primitives. Let's begin with the user interface. So the center area that you see is our viewport. Viewport is the place where we will create all the 3D models. Let me hide all the other user interface elements and we'll start learning one by one. We can press control and space together to hide all the user interface elements. By pressing control and space together, it hides everything except the viewport. Let's see how we can navigate through the viewport. We can press Alt key and left mouse button to orbit the viewport. We can press Alt and right mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. Alt plus middle mouse button to pan from left to right or from top to bottom. I'll repeat again. Alt and left mouse button to orbit. Alt and right mouse button to zoom in and zoom out. And Alt plus middle mouse button to pan around. In order to see all the user interface elements, we can go to Display, UI Elements, and choose Show All UI Elements. We can also hide all of them by going to Display, UI Elements, and Hide UI Elements. Now to make the user interface elements visible one by one, we can also go to Display, UI Elements, and click on each of them. If you notice, for every single click on this menu item, we had to go to the menu and choose the sub-menu and then click on each of them every time. There is an easy way to bring this menu item outside or as a floating menu. By clicking on this little dotted line in the top, the menu is being brought as a floating menu. We can do this for any other menu we have in Maya. We can also do that to the submenus. Now keeping this UI elements menu, menu as floating, we can check out each of these UI elements. Let's start with the status line. Click on it to view the status line. Now in the status line beginning, we have uh, lots of different status we can choose. So if by default it is in animation. Now when I change it to a different status, you can also see that the menu items changes. This is because Maya has got lots of menus which does not have enough space to be fit in one single menu bar. So all these menu items are being split and grouped together as their names goes. So for example, if I click on animation, it will give us all the menu items related to animation. If I click polygons, it gives us all the menu items that is related to polygons. If I click on dynamics, it will give us all the menu items related to dynamics. But the first few menu items remains the same. That is file, edit, modify, create, display, window, and assets. Apart from this, we also have some quick access uh, buttons about file, uh, opening, new, uh, saving the file. We have some uh, selection filters. We have some uh, snapping tools and some tools for rendering. After status line, we have shelf. Now you can consider shelf to be like any traditional shelf. Maya's shelf has got all the tools that you will need organized in their own names. So all the rendering buttons or rendering tools are available inside rendering, paint effects, tune, animation, deformers, and so on and so forth. We also have a custom shelf where we can add our own tools. This will be useful for us to just go and click on them instead of finding them from a menu. The next we have is time slider. A time slider basically gives us a timeline for animation. It also comes with the playback buttons. Range slider decides what should be the range of keyframes that can be visible in the timeline. Meaning for now you can see that we have frame number 1 and frame number 24. I can increase this or I can move it and that will change the number of keyframes uh, or number of frames that we have in our timeline. I can also extend this. So now you can see that we have from frame number 1 till frame number 20, sorry, 48. 
After strange slider, we have command line. Now command line gives us one line command option, so you can uh, type in some commands. For example, if I type in sphere, it creates a sphere. And we can also type in Python commands or mel commands. Now these are the two programming languages that are associated with Maya. And it also gives us a result of whatever action that is being done in the right side. We also have a helpline which gives us some little information about whatever work that we are doing. We have a toolbox in the left side. Now this has got the basic tools like move, rotate, scale, selection and so on and so forth. We have an attribute editor. Attribute editor is the place where we can modify all the attributes for the selected object. Tool settings now tool settings gives us the settings for the selected tool for example now scale tool is selected so it gives us all the tool options related to the scale tool if I choose move tool it gives us all the tool options for move tool if I choose rotation it gives us the tool options for rotations I'll hide the tool settings just to get some space we can open up channel box and layer editor now by clicking on this one it gives us both of them together so up here is the channel box and down here is the layer editor channel box gives us all the animatable attributes about the selected object and layer has got three different layers display layers render layers and animation layers so we'll have to create these layers in order to manipulate them so this is the basic user interface of Maya